Hey guys, so the pineal gland, is it evil? Is it bad? And I get this a lot. I get a lot of people warning me, be careful of that. You're going to open yourself up to dark spirits. Other people contact me and say, this is demonic. Stop, stop teaching this to people. It's terrible. And normally I just respond with, look, Jesus Christ said, let thy eye be single, your whole body will fill with light. Since understanding what that meant and nurturing my body with fasting and prayer and ultimately activating my pineal, which is your antenna of prayer. That's all this is. You use it every day when you sleep, when you dream, you're using your pineal. In activating that and stimulating that, I've been able to hear the direction of my life God wants me to take. God told me to come during a fast whilst I was stimulating my pineal gland to come to Tanzania. Since then, we're now supporting over 700 children in under four years. Children who were in child labor, children who were suffering terribly, special needs children who, who were tre terribly out in the community or just suffering terribly in poverty. It's just been absolutely phenomenal since I came. All because I stimulated my pineal gland. Now, the next thing I always say is, I'm a foster father, ultimately. I'm a guardian to more than 60 children, but I'm closer to more of them because more of them live here. I have a lot of special needs, and special needs children living with me at the children's village that I've built with God since he told me to via my pineal. And I'm closer to some of the other children, and they, the children here and they call me father. Others do not. Some do call me father. Those who don't have parents predominantly. Uh, those who have parents who have abandoned them and stuff tend not to. As a father, as a loving father, I would never do something so horrendous to my child as to create a world for them where there's a door to evil in the very center of one of the most important organs in their body. The pineal gland is right in the center of your brain and we are to believe that God created a portal to evil in the center of your brain. It's so ridiculous, but where is it coming from? And I have empathy for where it's coming from because it's coming from first and foremost First and foremost, it's being done by the powers that be, such as the organized religion of the Vatican or the Roman Catholic Church. The Roman Catholic Church is steeped in its headquarters in pine cone symbology, which is a representation of the pineal gland. If you go to ancient Egypt and look at the staff of Osiris, you've got the twisting snakes leading to a, pineal, uh, a pine cone. This is a representation of your energy raising in meditation and activating your pineal gland. If you go to Dionysus and their staff in ancient Greek, Dionysus staff has a pine cone on the end said to drip honey. Honey is an amber-like substance just like DMT. Just as you need to reach the land, the promised land flowing with milk and honey. Milk, serotonin, honey, DMT, secreted pituitary pineal gland. And you will see God face to face in the place they call pineal. So they know about this, but they suppress this. Now, the main place this is coming from, because no doubt they have played a role in discouraging people away from this, because I, the first ever video I did about the third eye was in response to a pastor who had condemned a friend of mine for teaching meditation, saying exactly that. It will open you up to demons because he was not sitting at the right hand of God as you are supposed to, as Jesus Christ had to, to become the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. The right hand of God is moving to the right hemisphere of your brain in meditation, not the left where you're filled with fear and you don't get anything done and you're on your knees praying for someone else to do it for you instead of getting out in the world, being a functional human being and saving and helping people who are struggling in poverty and sickness to alleviate the suffering with God's commands coming through you and in a functional body with a mind that does not get in the way of those commands. As Jesus said, you take no thought for your life. Now, the other place which everyone gets it from is the Freemasonic societies and the Illuminati. And this is where we have a problem because you need to understand what goes on with the pineal to know why there is this evil connotation with it. And of course, they use the sign of Baphomet and the Baphomet and the as above, so below. But at the core of their teaching, they have a problem. They have the the, this words were summed up well by a horrible human being who, who touted uh, 
the idea, ideologies of human sacrifice within his belief system of Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley uh, said, do as thou wilt will be the whole of the law. The problem you have there is that humans activate themselves and then believe there's no moral guidance, do what I want to, to manifest what I need on this planet. This is where the evil comes from. Now, if you meditate, you are consciousness. That's what you are, you are consciousness. Consciousness embodied in a physical being, experiencing itself as a point of awareness. Now, as you meditate and you raise your energies and you raise your sacred secretion, ultimately, uh, which was called chrism, the Christ within in ancient Greek, Greeks who wrote the Bible, the ancient Greek wrote the New Testament. You raise your sacred secretion and you activate your pineal. You attune yourself to a higher frequency, a higher dimension. Now your consciousness is just made up of atoms vibrating at different frequencies. You attune to a higher one, to a, a plane, a field, a pool of self. And self is a constant. Imagine a constant white line in a white room, never changing light, never judging, never happy, never sad, just a constant pool of energy. And that energy is connected to the divine source. As you raise up into your pineal, you can commune with that energy field, with that energy source, that energy pool. And you can speak with the field of self. And when you speak to the field of self, God is connected to it as he is to all things and can commune with you and direct you via synchronicities, via messages, via dreams, via uh, conscious waking dreams, if you will, just as it happens with uh, Jacob as he sees God face to face in the place you call Peniel, as it's written in Christian scriptures. Predominantly, it's Christianity and people from Christianity who tell me the third eye is evil. As you do that and you reach into this pool of self, you can commune with God and God can direct you, as he did I, and led me to service, as I do, to serve him here. And I did as Jesus taught, I gave away everything to the poor and I put people before myself as much as I can. And I say as humbly as I can, I, I hope I would please him in the way that I live my life because I live as he asked. I don't sit in church. I don't pray for him to come and do it. I do as he asked. You can do greater works than I, for I will have gone to the Father. I'm not saying my works are greater than he, but I'm saying I try. At least I physically as a human try. I don't sit at home scared. I get up and I do something. In the name of God, I do it. This is how it is for I, and this is my waking life. Now, as I connect with that pool of self, God can direct me where I need to go. He can also hear my prayers within that pool of self. And that pool of self as a material can come back down into consciousness and speak to other people to synchronistically guide them to ourselves here at Feathers Tail or Share Tanzania, whichever name you go about, our mission that God has set us about here in Tanzania. And as they come down, they answer our prayers. You see, the pool of self is non-judgmental, as all good fathers are not. So if someone gains that knowledge from birth and they attach to the pool of self and they misuse it, they go to the other side of self, they use it for negative means. Self will not condemn them or judge them because a loving father does not condemn or judge. I have a puppy here, I mentioned in a recent video, I find this puppy tearing up insects, beautiful insects, dragonflies and such here in East Africa. And it's horrendous to see, and I stop him. I say, hey, don't do that. But I see that he's doing it just playfully. He's got joy in his eyes. He's having fun. He's ignorant and innocent to what he's doing. If I look at a puppy who's less developed than I when he's hurting something in that way, I can only presume God looks upon all humans in the same way. We are infinitely less developed than the ever-present consciousness and self, and that beyond consciousness and self, the creator. For those things dwell within existence. And a baker is not inside his cake, so of course the creator of existence does not exist because existence is the cake. The baker is not the cake. So as you raise up to the level of self, these people come back down. The problem therein lies with free will. Free will is the problem that we face. And this is represented truly in the story of Adam and Eve, where there is a choice between good and bad, wrong and right. And thus, at the beginning of wrong and right choices, you get free will. And therein lies the problem. Not in the third eye, not in communing with God, with the antenna, magical, beautiful, spectacular antenna of prayer that is your pineal gland. But in the use of it. I can go and take fire right now and I can cook a nutritious meal for the children here. They can eat that meal, they can nourish themselves, it can fill them with joy and love and they can even worship God using the food and the fuel that they've had inside their bodies. 
Someone else can take the same fire and they can burn down a family's home. The fire was not the evil, it's the person holding the match. The free will is where the problem lay. And thus, the third eye in the pineal gland, as they are said by the man Jesus Christ, let thy eye be single and your body will fill with light. And those who sit in the darkness will see a great light. Those who sit still and meditate will see a great light. And when you fast, this becomes very apparent. But our moral guidance systems must be in line with that of the Christ. Because there are those whose moral guidance systems are in line with such persons as Crowley. That say, do as thou wilt is the whole of the law. So they go around the world activating their body and thinking they can do whatever they want. And a loving father won't judge, self won't judge. But self is not the ultimate father. The ultimate father is beyond that. And here is why people, here we lay the problem as to why people are fearful. Number one, the Vatican have spread a rumour and a lie because they lose all financial power. If you have two tunics, give one to the poor. The Vatican have hoarded billions of tunics while people are cold. They don't obey the teachings of Jesus Christ. They've spread a lie to disempower its followers, to need them. And you do not need them to worship Christ. You simply do not. You do not need them to pray. They need your money, clearly. Otherwise, why don't they follow what Jesus Christ taught if they are the ultimate institution to promote him? If a man has two tunics, give one to the poor. They've got billions sitting dormant, whilst people are freezing cold, so cold that they're dying. The Vatican. Steer people away from these things in the church. As I say, my first ever third eye video on YouTube was in response to a pastor who did that. Second to that, you do have these dark organisations such as the Freemasons who rely on people not awakening to the level that they're at and not being able to see their symbology. They taunt them, they joke with it, they find it amusing that they can place people in these positions of power and in these public rituals such as opening ceremonies, etc. and steep it in the, the, the symbology that they use in their negative usage of the pineal gland. Just as you can have a negative usage of fire, a negative usage of anything. A knife can cut your fruit and allow you to have a nice nutritious meal. A knife can kill someone. They taunt their usage of killing. They taunt with that. They abuse something. But something God gave you as a gift in the core of your brain is don't fear your own anatomy. Do not fear it. Because the pineal is your antenna to God. And the ironic thing is, many of you use it anyway, without even realising you're using it, because when you dream, this is what happens. So it's not something, you know, that you're going, oh, my third eye, I'm going, it's not how it is. It's your connection to God, to spirit. If you're already connected to God in some way, then you're already using your pineal. You just don't use the same terms. But I do use the term, the third eye, the single eye, because... I follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. Let thy eye be single, your whole body will fill with light and you will see God face to face in the place I call Pineal. So, so no, not evil. The pe some people using it are, but it in itself is not. So free will is the thing that makes it evil, as is the thing that makes most things evil in humanity. God bless. Meditation of an ancient kind Exhaling through my third eye Stand strong in what I know Stand aside from the ego